Hey, so in one hand I have an $800 tenor saxophone. In the other hand, I have an $1,800 tenor saxophone. Which one sounds better? Let's find out in this video. Okay, so I can't tell if you can hear the difference between the $800 sax and the $1,800 sax, but I really couldn't hear a big difference. It felt different when I was playing, but I couldn't really hear that one sounded bad or good. They both sounded good to me. I use the same mouthpiece on both saxophones. Your mouthpiece actually does more for your sound than your saxophone does. So if they both sounded good, what's the point of buying the more expensive saxophone, right? The biggest difference between the saxophones are the materials that are used. Generally with the more expensive saxophones, they'll put more time and care into making sure that the saxophone's built properly. On a beginner sax, you're more likely to have the keys fall off. And um, it's happened to me a few times, even on gigs. So I never really wanted to leave the house without some of this, which is super glue, by the way. You're much more likely to need this if you're playing a student saxophone. If you're using a professional sax, chances are they've taken extra measures to make sure that it's comfy for you. These raised keys on the cannonball sax, these are so that the palms are more comfy. It's nice to have a saxophone that feels good on your fingers while you're playing, especially if you're playing for two, three hours every day. <laughs> With both of these saxophones, I take them into the repair shop to get them cleaned and fixed periodically, but one holds up better than the other. So this doesn't impact the sound too much because the shape of the saxophone is more or less the same, but over time, you'll see that the metal of the saxophone can actually break down. So I took relatively good care of this sax, but I played it for quite a few years, and the brass is actually rusting. And on my professional saxophone that I've also been playing for quite a few years, it's not. So I'm not telling you to go and buy a professional saxophone because you can sound great on a beginner saxophone. Especially if you're starting out, you should be on a student saxophone, you should be on a cheaper saxophone until you're confident that you can either take care of a professional saxophone or that you're committed enough to invest in one. If you're just starting to play the saxophone, a great place for you to go is to my website. I have a beginner course and it's free. You can check that out by going to alanmusic.ca.